mango sticky rice with coconut milk. It is originated in Thailand. Sticky rice is actually used throughout Southeast Asia. In Chinese culture, we use sticky rice to make lo mei ge wrapped in lotus leaf, which you find on a dim sum menu. And in Vietnamese culture, we use sticky rice to make soy. Um, all these recipes I will be uploading later, so stay tuned for those recipes. Today I am exploring into a Thai culture and I'm preparing this well-known dish mango sticky rice with coconut milk. There are many ways one can decorate this dessert dish. It's all up to your personal preference and mood. I'm using 3 cups of sweet rice soaked in water at least 2-3 to three hours before steaming it. Then rinse the rice a few times to remove impurities and let it drain on a colander. Um, the rice doesn't need to be completely dry for this recipe. Sticky rice is also known as glutinous or sweet rice. So it is important that we soak in water before cooking to ensure uh, the grains cook and absorb the moisture evenly before steaming. When you cook uh, sticky rice, it is somewhat different than cooking regular rice. Um, you don't need a lot of water, which makes the steaming um, option um, a better choice. Place a parchment paper inside the steamer, then add in sticky rice. Sticky rice does not stick to parchment paper. That's one of the advantages of using parchment paper. Now spread the sticky rice evenly and we're ready to steam our sticky rice. So if you enjoyed this recipe so far, please like, share, and subscribe. Steaming process takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Sweet rice is done when each grain is translucent. Notice some of them are not, so I am going to add another um, cup of water and then close the lid and steam for another 15 minutes and I will check it again. This time around I'm using a Japanese brand sweet rice so I'm not sure uh, how much water it can retain so that's why I'm checking every 15 minutes and if it looks dry I will add more water half to one cup at a time um, to make sure the sweet rice is cooked uh, and absorbed. The next 15 minutes, I am going to prepare my coconut milk. Prepare um, this coconut milk is very simple. I'm using one can of coconut milk. Coconut milk itself is not uh, flavorful enough for my sticky rice. So here I'm adding in two tablespoons of water two teaspoons of cornstarch to thicken up the sauce, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar. Bring coconut milk to a boil, then I added an additional one teaspoon of sugar after I taste it. Finally, add in two teaspoons of roasted sesame seeds to finish. For this recipe, I added just enough sugar to give it a flavorful coconut milk sauce. Um, if you want it sweeter, you can add more sugar. How this mango with sticky rice turn out depending on two factors, the coconut milk and sticky rice. My coconut milk is done. Now I'm going back to check on my sticky rice. That is 30 minutes in after steaming. Now I'm adding in 4 tablespoons of coconut milk which I prepared earlier. I'm adding coconut milk to my uh, sweet rice um, is to add more flavor and makes the surface of my sticky rice shine and look more attractive. Spread everything evenly close the lid and steam for another 15 minutes and I'm done with my sticky rice. 
sprinkle about two teaspoons of roasted sesame seeds to add more flavor. For those of you who just found my channel today, welcome on board. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy uh, my recipes. For my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. One last thing, you need mango for this recipe. How you want to decorate this mango with sticky rice really depending on your personal preference and your style. Um, for this recipe, I added edible rose petals. I made this recipe for my sister-in-law's birthday. So I hope you can try out this recipe for your loved ones. Thank you so much for your time and support. Until then, take care. Bye now. By the way, if you enjoyed this recipe, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time again.